It's all true. It's all true. A aliens, abductions, I mean, this is what I've been searching for my entire life. Hey, pal, focus. I'm interrogating you here. Y you don't understand. This is living proof of what I've said for years. I got thrown out of academia for this. <laughs> no respectable archaeological team would touch me. But now, <laughs> now, now, now this, this will be huge. Um, the witness or accomplice or whatever you want to call him is officially now your problem. One of many. Chauncey's gone, with a book. Eyes up here. Agent C. <laughs> that's, that's your name. <laughs> How well do you know Emilio Chauncey, Mr. Delacour? I got this, C. Now listen here, perp. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know, and maybe you'll walk out of here with the ability to remember your last name. But if you wanna play rough, we can... Rough? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's... it's the accent. <laughs> yeah, dog jokes are funny. Speaking of dogs, you ever been vaccinated for rabies? <sighs> That's better. Now let's take it from the top. Emilio Chauncey, founder of Sia, the largest network on the planet. Also, your good friend and employer. How do you like working with Emilio Chauncey? The stealing ancient artifacts come with a good dental plan? I don't know Emilio Chauncey. I heard the name tonight for the first time. Right. You stole a book for him, but you don't even know the man. I know you don't know who we are. So let me fill you in. We're the guys who know everything about you. And you're a crackpot historian turned art thief. Excuse me, I'm a respected archaeologist and expert in antiquities from the ancient world. I wouldn't say that I'm the best, but... Well, actually, I, yeah, I would. You're an expert at making art disappear. That's what you are. Now let's try this again. You work for Emilio Chauncey. How much do you know about his operation? I don't work for Emilio Chauncey. I'm an independent contractor. I mean, I offer my services, but don't you government types only work for the lowest bidder? You think the government hires people like us? We're an elite agency whose reach extends beyond any government. And since you're in bed with a criminal mastermind, we can make you cease to exist. So help me help you. Tell me what you know. Maybe I do know Chauncey. Maybe we go way back. But I gotta admit, his friends sure have changed. I've never seen his bodyguards packing firepower like that. Hey, what, what caliber were those plasma guns, you think? Actually, those are compressed xenon launchers. Uh, it's a common misconception, since they look a lot like plasma. But that's not important now. What did Chauncey want you to steal for him? Some old Egyptian relic. What kind of relic we talking here? Like a sarcophagus? Pharaoh's nail clippers? Cat statues? What? <laughs> Do you have a problem with cat statues? Keep it up, wise guy, and I'll show you. Now, something tells me Chauncey's more of a bookworm. Did he ever mention any type of book to you? A book? That makes sense. I mean, those aliens had a lot of eyes. They look like pretty avid readers. What are they, like the galaxy's librarians or something? Hardly. Their voices are too loud for that job. The Dewey Dismillions are better suited for those roles. No mouths and a separate brain just for categorization. Now, uh, if you give me some good info, maybe I'll introduce you to one. Hmm? Info about a book. Wish I could help you. How about this? You stop being difficult and tell me what I want to know, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Do we have a deal? Sounds good, Agent Double D. Mr. Chauncey is in way over his head here. He's dealing with forces beyond his size and scope. What can you tell me about them? I don't know. Uh, but if I had to make a guess, their skill set might be a bit... out of this world. You could say that. The key is the book you acquired. Why is it so important to Chauncey? How should I know? You're the one investigating it, right? Mr. Delacour, there are two powers at play here that could destroy everything you hold dear. Assuming that there is anything you hold dear. And you're sitting there making snide comments. I don't make deals with the government. You don't get it, do you? We're not with the government. To protect innocent civilians from scum like the thugs Chauncey hired, the men in black can do whatever we want here. Here being Earth. Look, a civil war has come to our planet, Mr. Delacour, and your employer is exploiting it. 
He's working with one side, the Audorians, and that artifact you appropriated for him is making the other side, the Nakadans, a little nervous. It's a book. I mean, I know I got excited the first time I read Huck Finn, but that doesn't mean... Mr. Chauncey is meddling with something that, according to legend, could help him conquer the world. And he has a head start. His website? Ooh. Will you send me an invite or something? Take a close look. What? There's nothing... <sighs> I can't... Your file says you were thrown out of your institution for insubordination. I found proof that aliens contacted us in the ancient past. You had a doctorate once. Do you like this lifestyle better? I'm professionally disgraced. I'm a public joke. What is the book's connection to Emilio Chauncey? I... I... don't... know. Agent O. Chief. C. F. Have you two read the papers this morning? As if I don't have enough to deal with, what with my two best agents gone missing, and now you can't even handle a routine extraction. Agent O, oh, I have this under control. No, you don't. You wanted to move up from administrative duties? Fine, I gave you the opportunity. Did I make a mistake? We nabbed Chauncey's accomplices. We have a bead on where he's headed. It's only a matter of time before we have them. Regulation 462 uh, states- ladies? These guys get their funding. I bet this place is a killer cafeteria. Literally. I'm not sure you could pay me to eat there. Suits, ties, suits, ties. I thought my old prep school had a strict dress code. Huh? You are a stubbornly impressive man, Mr. Delacour. Are you coming on to me? I suppose Mr. Delacour could be an asset for this mission. MIB Reg 98 allows for deputizing civilians under extenuating circumstances. Oh, 
With my two best agents gone missing, I suppose I can't be picky. Agent C, do you think you can manage him? Get to shoot big guns that go boom? I work for myself, period. Now, can someone point me to an exit? MIB Reg 7 states that we can't just let you walk out of here. Can't do that. So, you have two options. One, you assist the MIB and help us nab a guy who is going to paint the concrete with your guts. Or two, we rewind your memories back to kindergarten. Because I'm all about this. I love this plan. You're doing well. You do seem to have some skills. So why were you mixed up with Chauncey anyway? Funny. He has it. I want it. That simple, Mr. Delacour? Nothing's ever that simple. And please, call me Peter. Or at least Dr. Delacour.
Impressed yet? Hardly. Do MIB regs forbid you from smiling? Regulation 29 implies it. be aiding not just our agency, but humanity. For the time being, your dress, conduct, and weaponry will all be sanctioned by our special services. You will not stand out in any way. Your entire image is crafted to leave no lasting memory with anyone you encounter. You are no longer working against the system. You're not working for it either. 
You are above the system, over it, beyond it. We are them, we are they. We are the men in black. And on a temporary basis, you are one too.